It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Friday, the 10th of May. I'm Michael Groff. Temperatures warming up as we go into the weekend and early next week. We could be flirting with those dreaded triple digits once again. And all the while, conditions will remain relatively dry. Now, I say relatively dry because we do see signs of some moisture getting into the state for at least widely scattered showers and thunderstorms over the higher terrain of northern and eastern Arizona. But here in Phoenix, at least for now, the forecast remains rain-free. All right, we'll get into it here, but before we do, it is Friday, and that means it's Photo Friday here, and that's where we take a look at some of the photos and or videos that you guys have submitted. First up, David Parnell, Quail Run Park is the place. Last Saturday, the time high school sports are winding down, but hey, still good time to get out there and enjoy it, albeit kind of warm at times. Then, this is from Beth, the flowers are in bloom, and that's what's going on in her garden right about now. And again, it's uh, it's been quite a robust season for blooming uh, flowers and everything like that, with temperatures being reasonably mild, not too bad, and with all the rain we had earlier in the spring, everything is still out in bloom. Love to see those pictures. This is from Chris Martin. At his cabin in Ash Fork following the passage of a cold front last weekend. And he says the temperature absolutely plunged to near or just below freezing following this. And I believe it. Look at that. Nice shot there. Then we take a look at these from Clayton who is down there in Georgia. I believe these are from Buford, Georgia. Look at that. That looks gorgeous. And uh, they had temperatures in the upper 70s to about 80 degrees with a few showers and storms around at times. But uh, that looks nice. And then finally, we go international. Well, not quite finally, but we do go international. Check out this shot from Zane down in Brisbane, Australia. Of course, Australia, they've got the birds. They've got, uh, well, they're moving toward winter. Look at that. Beautiful sky there. And we always appreciate those pictures, courtesy of Zane. Yes, we do have viewers of these weather discussions from all over the world. And sometimes we have viewers that are very, 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 very close. That's our cat. That's Freya looking into our uh, living room cam downstairs. <laughs> she is fascinated by that camera. She will stare at that camera. She will try to get the camera. Uh, that <laughs> It's always funny when... When sometimes you'll check out the live camera and see what's going on, and she is just right there, that close, up in the, um, up in the camera. All right, well, that's it for uh, Photo Friday for this week. you have any photos or videos you'd like to submit, groffshow at gmail.com. That is G-R-O-F-F show at gmail.com for Photo Friday. All right, let's get into it here. The almanac from yesterday, 89 degrees the afternoon high, 65 the morning low, and that's just a tick below those averages of 92 and 67. 108 degrees, that record high. No thanks, you can keep that. Looking outside right now, uh, just after uh, 1 o'clock, 88 degrees at Sky Harbor, dew point 20, humidity 8%. It's a calm wind, the barometer falling. Upper level weather pattern across the nation this afternoon. We've got an area of low pressure just to the north of Arizona and sneaking down into the state. And what this is serving to do is hold temperatures down a few degrees closer to normal. We also see some showers and thunderstorms mainly to the north of the state. But uh, yesterday afternoon and again this afternoon, we're going to see a few showers, mostly verga, mostly rain not reaching the ground, maybe a light shower across northern Arizona. And that will result in some breezy conditions down here as well. The watch warning map. How about a severe thunderstorm watch for parts of the Carolinas? And the convective outlook. Same story. We've got that marginal risk of severe storms up across parts of Minnesota, Wisconsin, and over portions of uh, North Florida. The standard slight risk, again, for parts of the Carolinas. Just north of us, there's that uh, risk of some thunder. Far northern Arizona, the Four Corners region. But overall, for us, still pretty quiet. Precipitation outlook valid through 
Friday morning of next week, rain amounts in Phoenix, nothing statewide, mostly very, very light precipitation, generally speaking under one-tenth of an inch, although an isolated spot can always see more than that with a thunderstorm. But uh, by and large, yeah, we could see a few showers, but they're not going to amount to a whole lot, mostly high-based convection, and that could touch off some fires, and obviously we don't want to see that. Let's get into the details of this forecast right now. To do that, we explore the models. Here we go. GFS 12Z run, 5 o'clock this afternoon. All right, we got a troughing in the east. That has served to push that cold front further to the south, and so we do have those uh, chances of storms for the Carolinas down into Florida. Around here, that upper low is just sitting to the north of us. What it means down at the surface for the rest of this afternoon and into this evening. Sunny sky, a light breeze, high temperatures. Yeah, should be in the low 90s this afternoon. Tonight, clear sky, lows mainly in the 50s and low 60s. Tomorrow, yeah, could see a few showers and storms across northern Arizona. But other than that, uh, most of the activity off to the east of us. Colorado, New Mexico, West Texas, and some of the adjacent states. High temperatures a little warmer, low to mid 90s. Sunday, we are mostly sunny with high temperatures mid to upper 90s. And we will see some increase in moisture as we go into the first half of next week. Now, there is forecast uncertainty into how all of this plays out, but low pressure off to the north and west of us should help to draw in a bit of extra moisture. Not significant moisture, though. Uh, mostly in the mid and high levels, but again, maybe just enough for an isolated shower or storm over the higher terrain. And we'll continue that on Tuesday. Now, for us, high temperatures each day, mid to upper 90s. We could touch 100 degrees on any one of those days or on Wednesday. But again, widely scattered, mainly afternoon and evening showers and storms. Not much in the way of rain, mostly wind and lightning producers. Here's Thursday. Maybe a slightly better chance of showers and storms for northern Arizona. And I know there's been some hints that maybe those storms get a little further to the south. Maybe there's some more clouds for us, slightly higher moisture levels. Not really ready to buy into that yet, but um, we'll keep at least uh, an eye on it. And again, high temperatures will be pretty warm, uh, mostly in the mid to upper 90s. A week from today, this is Friday the 17th. Check out that big ridge to the north and west of us over the Pacific Northwest and the Northeast Pacific, but uh, low pressure still around being pushed off to the south and east of us, so temperatures a little bit above average, going out 10 days, this is Sunday the 19th, high pressure and control, that looks warm and dry. Look at a rainfall for Phoenix, this goes out through the 24th of May off of the GFS Ensemble, you've got a smattering of members that uh, indicate some precipitation, but the Ensemble mean is still way, way, way under a tenth of an inch. European Ensemble says, nah, no real meaningful chance of rain. Temperatures off the national blend of models. We are going to be quite warm with highs generally in the 90s to approaching 100 degrees. That, unfortunately, is going to stick with us for a while. And, uh, well, we're getting into that stretch of the year. It's the long, hot summer. And I do not see any sign of that changing. Uh, could it? Could we see a cool down? Could we see a chance of storms at some point? Could we see rain before the monsoon? Well, it's weather. Of course we could. But will we? Yeah, I would say probably not. I would say it's a fairly safe bet that we're going to stay dry for the next couple of months. And as for how the monsoon looks, well, again, I don't want to be uh, pessimistic about it, but it doesn't look that good. Also, well, I'm getting ahead of myself with the, uh, with the buttons here, but uh, let me just say this. Uh, the monsoon season for this upcoming year, we've been asked about it. It sure does not look uh, to be very robust. Uh, we're, you know, I, I saw a question about it. Could this be like the 2022 or 2021 monsoon? Uh, El Nino certain or La Nina was in place. We had a wet monsoon. This year looks different. I, I, all the, all the experts, all the, all the people, uh, even those above my pay grade in this uh, industry seem to feel that this will be a very dry monsoon. I don't believe it will be as dry as last year or 2020. I think we will actually see some precipitation 
Uh, I still think it'll probably be below average, but it will not be the absolute driest monsoons ever like 2020 or 2023 was, especially here in Phoenix. I think we will see a little bit more precipitation than that. Um, But, hey, none of us know. And that's the bottom line. And that's why we do this. This uh, science will humble you. Two kinds of meteorologists, those that are humble and those that are about to be. All right, that's it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here on Monday morning. Of course, updates before that, if necessary. Should you happen to enjoy these videos, then be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell, leave those comments, questions, and suggestions. And if you really like what we do here, click that notif- or click that thanks icon below the video and make those monetary contributions, or you can donate directly to me on PayPal. Groffshow at gmail.com is the address on PayPal. G-R-O-F-F show at gmail.com for PayPal. Now we can get to this. The executive producer of the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion is my one and only, the sweetest of all time, the Asian sensation and proprietor of SweetChildAZ.com.org and the Facebook page of the same name, Sweet Child Arizona. I put the slide up early because I'm always thinking about her. She is my Michelle, so do check her out. And of course, check out our videos and all that other stuff linked up down in the description, as well as our streaming station. It is called KMGX. What do we do there? We play a ton of music. We have a lot of fun. That is something else that we do. So again, check out all of that. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching all of your continued support. So greatly appreciated. Please be safe. Stay cool. Stay hydrated out there. Have yourselves a great Friday and a wonderful weekend.